Imagine floating through our cosmic neighborhood, where our sun and planets are cradled within an enormous, mysterious bubble, a swath of space that scientists call the local hot bubble. It's a sprawling region of low-density gas, stretching hundreds of light years in all directions, heated to millions of degrees. But how did this bizarre bubble come to be? Scientists believe that around 10 million years ago, multiple star explosions or supernovae occurred in this region. Research suggests that around 14 million years ago, powerful supernovae erupted, carving out a bubble of hot gas called the local bubble. Over time, this bubble expanded, sweeping up clouds of interstellar gas and dust along its surface. As centuries passed, these clouds condensed, giving birth to thousands of new stars. Our sun was far from this event when the bubble began forming, but roughly 5 million years ago, it drifted into the bubble's interior during its journey around the galaxy. Now we reside within this expansive 1,000 light year wide structure, observing active star formation on the bubble's surface, while the interior remains surprisingly empty. This discovery affirms a decades old theory, suggesting that supernovae can compress gas, creating fertile grounds for star birth. This led astronomers to think that if this phenomenon happened here, how widespread might these cosmic bubbles be across the galaxy? A group of astronomers has now charted the bubble, uncovering an unusual asymmetry in its shape and temperature distribution, as well as identifying a mysterious tunnel-like structure, pointing toward the constellation Centaurus. Our local cosmic neighborhood just got a whole lot more intriguing. Welcome to territory. This is your space. Imagine a fish trying to figure out the shape of its tank while staying right in the middle. It wouldn't be something very easy for the fish to do unless we give it human-like intellect and the right tools. Enter the right tool. The Max Planck Institute of Extraterrestrial Physics powerful space-based X-ray telescope called E-Rosita. One major advantage of E-Rosita is where it operates in space. Earth's atmosphere stretches surprisingly far with a vast halo of hydrogen called the Geocorona, extending up to 100 times Earth's radius, which is more than 370,000 miles from the surface. E. Rosita is mounted on a space observatory stationed about 930,000 miles from Earth. At this gravitationally stable point, where the poles of Earth and the Sun balance, the X-ray observatory is uniquely positioned as the first to capture X-ray images of the sky from completely beyond the reach of our planet's glowing Geocorona. Using the telescope, the researchers found that the bubble is expanding more vertically, away from the galactic plane, rather than along the horizontal plane. This makes sense because vertical directions face less resistance compared to horizontal ones. The researchers found that the uneven temperature distribution in the bubble matched the supernova theory for its formation, suggesting that stars may have indeed been exploding in our region relatively recently, as close as a few million years ago. What we didn't know was the existence of an interstellar tunnel towards Centaurus, which carves a gap in the cooler interstellar medium, says astrophysicist Michael Freiberg of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics. This region stands out in stark relief thanks to the much improved sensitivity of E. Rosita and a vastly different surveying strategy compared to Rosat. We still don't know exactly what the tunnel leads to, but several intriguing objects lie in its path, such as the Gum Nebula, another neighboring bubble, and several molecular clouds. The team, however, suspects that the Centaurus tunnel in the LHB may just be a part of a network of hot gas tunnels that bore their way between the cool gas of the interstellar medium between stars. It's possible that this tunnel could be part of a larger, interconnected network of hot bubbles and cosmic tunnels that make up the galaxy, an idea first proposed in 1974 but lacked significant evidence until now. Another interesting fact is that the Sun must have entered the LHB a few million years ago, a short time compared to the age of the Sun, which is 4.6 billion years. Another scientist added, It is purely coincidental that the Sun seems to occupy a relatively central position in the LHB as we continuously move through the Milky Way. This new finding is exciting because now we might be on the verge of uncovering this network, which could provide valuable insights into the recent history and structure of our galaxy. What do you guys think? Also, adding the link to the interactive version of the local Hot Bubbles 3D model in the video description, in case you want to check it out. And now, another fascinating discovery closer to home. 
Launched in 2006, NASA's New Horizons is one of the fastest spacecraft ever built, blazing through space at over 36,000 miles per hour. Its primary mission was to explore Pluto, a once mysterious icy world lurking in the dim outskirts of the solar system, over 3 billion miles from the Sun. In 2015, New Horizons made its historic flyby of Pluto, unveiling a landscape that looked like something out of science fiction. With towering ice mountains, plains of frozen nitrogen that stretch for hundreds of miles, and glaciers that seem to flow like rivers. But New Horizons didn't stop at Pluto. The spacecraft pushed onward into the eerie and largely unexplored Kuiper Belt, a colossal ring of frozen bodies and ancient debris that circles the Sun beyond Neptune. This vast region, spanning a staggering 2 billion miles, is a frozen graveyard of the solar system's formation, littered with icy rocks, dwarf planets, and comets that have been preserved in a deep freeze for billions of years. In 2019, New Horizons performed the most distant flyby in history, zipping past Arakoth, an oddly shaped object resembling a flattened snowman. This strange reddish KBO formed from two smaller bodies that gently merged gave scientists a direct glimpse into the building blocks of planets. Today, from over 5 billion miles away from its home planet, New Horizons is still sending data back, transmitting faint signals that take over six hours to reach Earth. But the spacecraft's work is far from over, and it is heading out deeper into the solar system, and currently it is at 60 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is equal to 93 million miles, which is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. And at a distance of 60 astronomical units from the Sun, the New Horizons spacecraft has made a groundbreaking discovery, revealing something unexpected in the distant reaches of the solar system. Now, to support New Horizons' ongoing exploration at the edge of the solar system, astronomers here on Earth have been conducting observations of the Kuiper Belt using the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan's Subaru Telescope. To date, the Subaru observations have revealed 263 new Kuiper Belt objects. However, in a plot twist, a large international team of astronomers, led by Wesley Fraser of the National Research Council of Canada, has found objects much farther away, challenging our planetary models. Yes, hints of a hidden structure has been detected at the edge of the solar system. Observations showed that 11 of these objects are located way beyond where we thought the Kuiper Belt ended in a region over 70 astronomical units from the Sun. But that's not even the crazy part. Based on the number of these objects found, researchers have estimated the density of the outer Kuiper Belt ring. They found that while it is lower than the inner regions, it is still dense enough to have or form a new structure. And between the Kuiper Belt and the new found structure, there is a region where almost nothing has been found. Yes, a mysterious gap. But is it really mysterious though? While it might seem a bit strange, such gaps are common in other forming planetary systems, aligning our solar system with what we've observed elsewhere in the galaxy. Many observations of the Milky Way suggest that our solar system is quite unique. Since it's the only known planetary system with life, these unusual features might play a key role in making the solar system habitable. But if the discovery of this structure is confirmed with more observations, it will tell us that our star system isn't that unique after all. Our solar system's Kuiper Belt long appeared to be very small in comparison with many other planetary systems, but our results suggest that idea might just have arisen due to an observational bias," Fraser explained. So maybe, if this result is confirmed, our Kuiper Belt isn't all that small and unusual after all, compared to those around other stars. Yes, our space observation technology has its limitations, which can lead to biases that make certain features seem unusual when they might not be. If the new Kuiper Belt findings are confirmed, we can rule out one of these supposed oddities, a smaller-than-expected solar nebula. To better understand this discovery, astronomers are continuing to track the orbits of these 11 distant objects. While we set our sights on finding life beyond Earth, it's fascinating to realize how much we still don't know about our own solar system. We dream of discovering life on distant exoplanets or moons orbiting gas giants, yet there are still so many mysteries closer to home. And the recent revelations about new structures, beyond the Kuiper Belt, suggest that the edge of our solar system is far more dynamic and mysterious than previously thought. 
What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below to let me know. If you like my videos, please consider becoming a member to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.